We're back again here at the Gravity Garage. And uh, I thought we'd continue on from our last episode. Last episode, we learned how to set up shock sag um, and find the right spring rate. So this episode, I thought we'd talk about suspension forks. Um, equally as important to set those up to, you know, for the rider weight to get the most performance out of a bike. And so I thought I'd go over some of the more common RockShox Boxer platform, the Fox, uh, Fox 40 platform, um, what different types of springs are available from the manufacturers, and then we'll get into a little tech and maybe show you guys how to actually install springs if you don't have the right spring in your fork. So uh, let's look at the RockShox Boxer. Um, coil version, you can find this on the Team or the basic RC Boxer. Um, the World Cup Boxer is a solo air sprung fork. You're gonna use a shock pump for that. We'll get to that one in a little while, but let's look at the coil version first. So RockShox is really smart. They have a bunch of different tuning springs uh, for any weight rider or rider's ability. So, you know, you've got a silver spring up to about maybe 140 pound rider, a yellow spring to 160, um, a red spring to 180, um, the blue spring, uh, the firm spring to 200, and then the black spring, the extra firm spring, maybe 200 plus. And you can take a look at the RockShox website and find which spring color associates with uh, which, which rider weight. Um, and so you can get your bike all dialed in. Um, and we'll show you in a second how to install those. Um, the older Fox 40s, before they went air, also operated off a uh, coil. This would be like the Fox uh, van from a few years ago. Um, or the lower line performance models. Uh, and same concept here. They have a little di di bit different colors. You know, their black spring, instead of being the firm, is actually the softest. You know, blue spring for your 170 pound rider, and then all the way up to this red spring. That, that guy's a pretty heavy spring, gonna be your 240 plus pound rider uh, to get the fork sprung up properly. All right, so let's talk about switching a spring out in uh, this Boxer RC. You know, I'm a 172 pound rider, um, and this particular fork comes with a yellow spring. And if you look closely, RockShox would typically tell you what spring they spec stock in it. This one has a soft, you know, the yellow soft spring is gonna carry a rider weight up to about 160, so this one's a little bit light. Really need to go with the red spring, which is uh, 160, 180 pounds, so we're gonna replace this spring. It's a really simple procedure. There's only a couple tools you need. Um, a four millimeter wrench uh, to loosen the crown bolt, depending on where you have the crown. If the crown is right here where the threads are, where the top cap is, it'll be really hard to get the top cap off, so it's really easy it's just to loosen the crown bolt. Um, torque wrench preset. So you can tighten it back and then a 24 millimeter socket and this socket in particular is modified to where it's cut flush so all the chamfered edges are gone so when you're loosening this um, it has less of a chance to slip off. So really simple. You can uh, start by loosening the crown bolt just a little bit, maybe a couple revolutions. Then you know put good pressure on your socket right here. Loosen the top cap. Then after the top cap, there's gonna be a couple preload spacers. And you wanna notice the orientation. This has the spring in it, which has the skinny side up, and then the fat edge uh, down, because these fit into each other. So that's how you wanna arrange this. We'll go over and grab our new spring, which is our red spring, rated, rated for my rider weight, you know, 170-ish pounds. The other thing you'll notice on these springs is there's a heat shrink here, and what this is designed to do is eliminate that rattle you get in the spring, sort of dampens that vibration. So you wanna make sure these are up near the middle because the spring bends inside. So you drop your spring back in, put your preload spacers, top cap, Make sure not to cross thread that, of course. Pretty good torque on that. You can grab your uh, preset torque wrench just to make sure. This is a pretty, this is a clamping surface. It's important that this is set at the right torque. You'll know what the torque is. 
um, because it's written right here on the crown, five newton meters. And this is a preset five millimeter newton, five newton meter torque wrench, tighten it till it pops, and voila, you've got the right spring rate into your boxer. Um, so I wanna take a look at another bike and another type of spring, an air spring. You know, typically on the higher end models, Fox 40 Air, um, Boxer World Cup, we'll look at here in a second. Um, they wanna go lighter, more performance, so they're gonna put an air spring in it, which is a little bit easier for the user to um, to change the spring rate, you know? It's, uh, you know, just like your rear cross-country shocks, you've got an air top cap, um, and you want to use a shock pump, of course. And so I know this particular fork um, at my weight, once again, I need to run about 72 PSI. And you know, this is pretty simple. And a lot of people, and this is the brand new 2016 40 as well as the 2017 with the new float spring. And I chose this one in particular because a lot of people don't air this fork up properly. Um, you know, this one's sitting at 64 and a half pounds. I'm gonna use my nice Fox Digital pump and get this all the way up to the pressure I needed at, 72 pounds. But this is where a lot of people make a mistake and I wanna focus on this fork. That's why I chose this fork specifically. You know, if I wanna run 72 pounds in this fork, you can't simply, by the, the way this air spring works, you can't simply just put 72 pounds in it because it's got a positive and negative air spring that need to be balanced with the transfer port. So when you're airing this particular fork up, you know, air to 72 pounds, and then what you wanna do is you wanna compress the fork a few times, probably about an inch into its travel. Um, you don't have to sit here and bounce it, you can just compress it a little bit. Now go back and look at your, uh, your spring. And I've loaded up the negative chamber with a little bit of air, so I've lost a pound or two. So I wanna go and balance that back up to 72 pounds. Compress the fork again. And you wanna do this a couple times. Let it sit for a moment until your shock pump reads what your target pressure is. You know, if you're making big pressure changes, you're gonna to have to balance it a few times. If you're just changing a couple PSI, it should stay about the same. So that's how you air up a Fox 40. And again, this also has a pressure chart, which you can find online uh, to tell you exactly how much pressure you should be running uh, for any given individual's rider weight. And then make sure, as always, put the top hat back, tighten it down nice and snug, and there we are. That's how you air up a 40. So this is the Boxer World Cup. RockShox is really smart and they put uh, conveniently an air guide on the back of the legs of their forks. And so you can look at the rider weight and then the recommended pressure setting for these. So it's really convenient just to air this up just like your 40, balance positive and negative, and you can see the pressure chart right here on the back of the leg. All right, so that brings us to the end of this episode of the Gravity Garage. Uh, now you know how to set up your suspension fork, change springs, change air, um, coil springs, air spring rates. You know how to set up a rear shock uh, with sag and change the spring out on that as well. If you have any comments or questions, please post below. Or if you have any other topic ideas you'd like to see on the Gravity Garage, uh, post that below as well. Thanks.